Hey guys, it's Alpha here and welcome back to my 5M scripting tutorial series. This is episode 2 and this episode is going to be all about reducing your server's lag. So you may not um, have actually seen my previous ones. You may be coming here new to my channel because you're a server owner or developer and um, your server's got a lot of lag and I'm going to be showing you how to reduce that. Um, if you've been following the series so far and you haven't actually got a fully fledged out server yet, you can still do this because it can help you in the long run to have much less lag. So what we're gonna be doing is going to our server directory. So obviously in TX data, obviously yours may, may be in a different directory, but this is where mine is. And then we're going into our resources folder and then we can go into my scripts. You could be just doing it here or we could actually make a new one. So I'm gonna call this one utility because this is a utility resource on reducing server lag. So inside of utility, I'm now going to make the folder for the actual resource. We're going to call this one remove all AI because that's what we're going to be doing in this script, removing the AI because obviously there's a lot of AI traffic and pedestrians in 5M servers and that causes a very large amount of lag. So we're going to be removing them or just reducing them depending on what you want to do and that will very much help with uh, server lag. So now we're going to make a new text document and then change it to a Lua file. This is fxmanifest.lua. And we're also going to need a client.lua. No server.lua needed in this script. There we go. First, we're going to edit the fxmanifest.lua. And we're going to put the usual stuff to make it into a resource. So fx version. Cerulean. Game. UK5 author you can put yourself I'm just going to put alpha description a script to remove slash reduce AI to reduce server lag go version and now we're going to do client script or well, not slime client there we go Script client.lua and we can save that and close that. Now we're going into the client.lua. Okay, now we're going to be making a thread. So that would be citizen.create thread and then function and then no parameters needed in those brackets for the function. And then we're going to do end just before the close bracket for the the thread and then inside of this thread we're going to do while true do and then indented inside of that is citizen dot wait this is just um you know pausing the, the script for a certain amount of milliseconds so we're just going to do zero milliseconds so this is every tick it will just wait you do need to have at least um you do need a, a citizen dot wait in, inside of these while trues inside of threads otherwise it will just happen too often it would actually break your server I'm just going to add comments so you guys understand what these things do. I'm going to just leave a little cap and then we're going to do another comment. There we go. Then we're going to do set traffic density. And then here you can put anywhere from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. 0.0 totally removes traffic. And then 1.0 is the maximum amount of traffic. There you go. Just a little com uh, comment to make sure that you understand what it means. And then we're going to do set ped density as well. This is for the you know civilians walking along the streets. I'm going to set mine to zero as well. You don't have to do zero if you don't want to. You can just reduce it, put it like to 0 0.5 or whatever you want. But I'm going to totally be removing them. Now something with these scripts is sometimes you will still see some civilians or traffic driving around. Um, I'm guessing this is just because it's it sometimes slips up and still lets one spawn. Or it's because um, another... A resource is forcing that AI to spawn. 
Um, there's nothing you can really do about that. It still does a brilliant job at reducing server lag. So now we're making a new function for setting the traffic density. And then we can add an end to that. And then we're going to make another function below that called function set ped density. And then obviously we've got the, the um, parameter of density, which is referenced up here. So these will come in as density. There you go. So now we're going to go back to traffic density. And inside of that, we're going to do set parked vehicle density multiplier this frame. Quite a, quite a mouthful. <laughs> There you go, and then it's going to be density. And then the next one's going to be set vehicle density multiplier this frame. Got to make sure I don't misspell any of these. <laughs> yep, looks good. And then the last one for this function is going to be set random vehicle density multiplier this frame and then density inside of brackets again so that's all the three things we need for traffic density and then inside of ped density we're going to need set ped density multiplier this frame and then density inside of there as well and then obviously the last one is set scenario head density multiplier this frame and then density in the brackets of course and that's everything we need so these two are going to be reducing your ped density and then these three are going to be reducing your traffic density so then obviously the only thing you'll ever need to um configure in this file if you ever want to change it it's just these two values here so now we can save this and that's literally everything for the resource on reducing server lag but that's not the only thing you can do to reduce server lag i'm now going to jump into the server and show you what else you can do but before we do that we do need to start this in the server.cfg so i'm going to go out of the server the resource name i'm actually going to copy the name so i can paste it into the server.cfg go out of resources into the server.cfg and then just below my, my first resource, I'm going to ensure remove all AI. I'm going to save that and close that. Now we can actually go out and start up the server. There we go. We can actually see here, started resource, remove all AI. So we know it's working just fine. Now we can actually boot up 5M and jump into the server. So now we're going to press local host and join the server. So here we are, just spawned in, and as you can see, there are no vehicles on the road, and there's no peds walking along the sidewalk. So we can see that the script has worked, obviously we've still got some parts of the map loading in for me, got a slow computer, <laughs> but um, yeah, all of the AIs are gone, and this will dr drastically improve server performance. But another thing you can do, if, um, if you want to do more than that, is you can press F8 to go into the client console. And you can go to tools performance uh, resource monitor and then you can you know drag it to make it bigger and this will show all of the resources in the server and then you can sort it by resource name you know how many uh how much is using the cpu the time the memory and the streaming of assets so if you want to see what's the most impactful resource is you can sort it by cpu msec and then the top one is the most impactful one so as you can see, jumping around in there is removal AI, just there. And it's uh, it's actually got a very low response time, 0 0.05, 0 0.04. That's actually quite average for a chat, uh, not for chat, but for a resource. Um, so that's quite a good one. Um, none of these resources are actually using a lot because they're all just very basic resources. But if you've got loads of other resources in your server, um, they can actually be very impactful. So you can use this to check which are the most lag inducing resources and you can uh, either optimize them or remove them uh, so that's a good tool you can use um, 
but hopefully this helps with reducing your server lag. Uh, if it did, please hit the like button, share to your friends, leave a comment, and uh, be subscribed to keep up with my 5M scripting series. And you can always join our discords in the description if you need to ask a question to me. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.